Hello friends, welcome to your 5-day forecast for the Mohawk Valley. I'm your host, Jeff Matthews. Periscope is a great way to tune in live where it's interactive as well as fun, educational, and accurate. Three weather headlines. Another thermal shelf has arrived where low temperatures at night are going down into the 40s and your next rain chance is Saturday afternoon and or evening. The temperatures are going to be most significant at night where they're going to be down in the 40s. So it's going to be time to cover those begonias. It's also going to be leaf changing type weather. It'll turn breezy again on Saturday. That's the only day that I need to mention breeziness. But Thursday is going to be quite cool with a high only around 70 degrees, probably under, not over. Friday 75, Saturday 75, warms back up gradually towards 80 by the middle of next week. We have a couple of tropical storms out there. Ian is still churning in the open Atlantic, and a new one has finally been named off the southeast coast of Georgia and South Carolina, bringing heavy rains. It's been bringing heavy rains through the Bahamas and Florida for the last several days. I've been talking about it for over a week before it even arrived on Periscope. Meanwhile, this cool front is moving across the northeast and has now cleared the coast and this pocket of dry air, thanks to that area of high pressure, is going to wind up being our lot for Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, Friday night, and even a portion of Saturday. And any storminess you see out west is going to take until Saturday afternoon to bring us any more rainfall. So there's the big dry area going on from western New York through the Dakotas, and we'll eventually get into these showers Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. So in the short term, Cool and dry is the rule, my friend, because that area of high pressure coming out of central Canada where the nights are getting longer and the air is getting cooler and will dominate our weather pattern for the next several days. I missed Wednesday's high by one and the low by two. Very, very close again. Makes you wonder, what is it, the voodoo or is it the back to the future car? How's he doing it? One hundredth of an inch, 1229 on daylight. On the website, I encourage you to check out the partner's page. Plenty of great products for your consideration. And, much like Utica, Bank of Utica is unique. And they're in a league all their own. Big thanks and shout out to Bank of Utica for, Utica for being a primary sponsor. Sunny side up for your Thursday. North wind and a high of maybe 70. Thursday night, even cooler than Wednesday night. Low to middle 40s. So yeah, now we're getting close to frost territory. Clear, calm, cool for Thursday night. Friday, it'll take all day to get to 75 because that's a 32 degree climb. That's a lot of thermometer in a shortening daylight season. But it will be sunny side up without much wind. So Thursday and Friday look fantastic. Saturday, clouding up with some rain later in the day and at night. Sunday, there may be enough instability that I'm keeping that sun shower in the forecast with a mix of sun and clouds into Monday. That is your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. Now it's up to you to take it and make it a great day.